Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Good afternoon, Bobcats. It is Robert A. Bobcat reporting on this beautiful Tuesday, March 21st, 2017. I'm here with my friend Vish, and he is playing on his phone because tomorrow is the Pennies for Patients Pay to Plug Day. So remember, bring $2, and your money will go to this wonderful cause and to our school. Remember, our goal is $8,000. We're getting there. So come, and you can play with your devices at lunch, all day during lunch, just like Vish, right? Vish loves his devices. Club news. Tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. in room 103. See you later, Vish. You're no help at all. Uh, broadcast club will meet in Mr. Quinn's room, room 103. Also, a reminder that there is Club Create tomorrow, right after school, in the media center from 3 to 5 p.m. Be sure to have your ride there to pick you up promptly at 5 o'clock. Hey, 6th and 7th graders, course selection sheets for scheduling are due by tomorrow, Wednesday, March 22nd. Vish, that's you, your 7th grader, yeah. to the science teacher. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Klebeck or Mrs. Powell. Remember about the Troy Berry ceremony on April 28th. Matthew has just appeared, and he's going to give us a short sports report. What's up, Matt? Hi, Bob. Oh, yeah. First off, there's a wrestling city meet tomorrow, and there's a Baker volleyball game here tomorrow against Smith, so you should be there. And their I am volleyball is next Monday the 27th. So I am volleyball players meet in Miss Hughes room 205 to so do quick attendance, and then you guys can go down to the gym. Thank you, Miss Hughes and Mr. Hosman. Thank you, Matthew. Lots of wonderful Bobcat sporting events coming up. Good luck to all our athletes. And finally, for lunch today, I mean tomorrow. Tomorrow's lunch is a hot Italian meatball sub with seasoned broccoli. That is the lunch, and it sounds delicious. Vish, are you buying lunch tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Enjoy your broccoli. Well, we are going to do a cool micro-documentary from Mr. Quinn's Video Tech 1 classes. We will start off with a micro-documentary about ceramics, which is an elective for 7th and 8th graders. So here it is. Have a terrific Tuesday. See you later. <laughs> The inspiration for the class was that with art, a lot of kids are afraid of art because they usually say, I'm not a good drawer. But with ceramics, you can, it, it's another part of art. You're working with shapes, you're working with your hands, you're working with um, the, your creative abilities. And sometimes we never know what we're good at. So that's what I love about the class. My favorite thing about ceramics is when we get to do different things to the clay, like we have to decide whether or not to add clay to our pieces or take it away. This class is basically set up for 7th and 8th graders at the half a year class and um, I would say the best thing to do is, is to have a desire to, to work with that. It's going to be messy. Um, so if you're squeamish about getting your hands dirty, that's, uh, that's something that can't be avoided in clay class. But it's really neat because you get to use your imagination, um, you can be an individual, you can figure out exactly what you want to do. So um, I'll teach you the techniques and you have to figure out what you're going to do with your project. The reason I chose ceramics for one of my electives is because it sounded like a cool class. Um, it was brand new and I don't know, I just like being creative. So. <laughs>